If you'd like to help us make more episodes, consider joining our patron. Links in the description. On this episode of The Haunted Side. I did hear something. So I heard a car drive by, but before that, I heard something that kind of sounded like a female voice. If it starts mapping something on the ceiling, I'm gonna lose it. Too much stuff in front of it? What if I took down all that stuff? So the big reason why I I heard that, y'all hear the rim pot? I'm gonna put the, the K2 meter down the shadow box is going haywire, but it's because of the night vision. Oh, you following me? Make sure to give the video a like, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. All right guys, so I am right out front of the upstairs here at Papa's Ranch House. Uh, oh man, uh, I just got the walkthrough from Brian. Um, he was kind of showing me around some of the new stuff that he's brought in here. Uh, we're going to talk about that here in a second, too, because there's some, a really, really creepy painting, or sorry, not a painting, it's a picture, um, that he believes um, has something attached to it and has caused a whole bunch of activity to happen inside uh, the upstairs. You guys know I've been here before. Um, actually, just down uh, there is where uh, we caught the oven door opening down in the little uh, apartment down there, the one-bedroom apartment. So... This place has got some activity. Uh, he called me up. He said, Patrick, you have to come check it out. Because um, he's had a, a lot of things going crazy up here. Um, so, you guys know me. I'm here. Um, okay, so I'm going to shut this door. Lock that door. Uh, and then you guys know, so I've got... K2 meter set up, which that K2 meter is actually um, lighting up. K2 meter set up, which that K2 meter is actually um, lighting up. That's staying at like a solid yellow. Got the shadow box uh, going as well. Um, rim pod set up here. And then got a K2 meter set up on this table right here. That is maxed out. So guys, look like that's off. That's on. That thing is maxed out. Okay. Is there a bunch of activity? And look, it kind of dies out over here. Oh no, never mind. Go way here. So that's already kind of creepy. There's just all kinds of energy in here. But now it's staying steady yellow. Oh, orange. Why would it be red just on that table? That is creepy. Um, okay, got the other night vision camera here. Uh, just kind of filming just that whole area right there. And then um, I've got some stuff to do EVP sessions. The still camera, we can take some pictures here in a second actually. Um, and then I also have the SLS camera pointing down that way. And here is the full spectrum camera, which I'm going to turn on. And we're going to hit record down this little hallway right here. And then also, let me put this camera down for a second. Um, I also have the GS2, which I will plug in and we'll get that thing to read. And you guys know, so the GS2, um, it has temperature sensing. That grid back there is temperature sensing. And if anything comes up on the screen, it's going to show us whether it's hot or cold um, by either blue light or red light, blue being cold. Red being hot, obviously. Um, and this camera is actually 
uh, focused in on it. Um, so let's get in the bass line right now. And there we go. Actually, it started off with like a little blue tick right there. That's kind of weird. Um, but y'all, so the big reason why I, I heard that. Y'all hear the rim pod? So the big reason why I, I heard that. Y'all hear the rim pod? Are you in here right now? Can you make a noise, please, if you can hear me? Or you can try to touch that little, uh, you can touch that little box again. So, the reason that I have uh, the SLS and all that stuff kind of focused right here is y'all, this is the picture we wouldn't even focus on it for a second. So this is the picture that he believes has some kind of attachment. Um, I don't know if it's gonna come through a night vision, but it actually has July 4th, 18. Whoa. Okay, when the speaker's powered off. Um, 1872 uh, from Virginia City. So that's where this picture's from. So why does, why does Brian think that something is attached to this picture? Could you let me know? Jeez. Could you let me know? Jeez. What the hell was that? Hold on, guys. I'm gonna put the, the K2 meter down. The shadow box is going haywire, but it's because of the night vision. Oh, you following me? That was the rim pod going off, but something made a noise like right here. Was that you? Ooh. Okay. That K2 meter is still maxed out right there on the table too, y'all. Like, that's crazy. That's an absurd amount of energy. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! Hello? I wasn't close enough to make that go off either. I was like right here. Can you come over and sit down right here? Look at that, guys. It's like maxed out on the K2 meter still. I was trying to see what that says. 15.3 degrees Celsius. Are you grabbing that? I mean, this thing is like, look at that. Let's see the further away. No, I got actually more, well. What is, what's, what's causing all this energy? And y'all like the signs, the open signs also, that stuff's off. Yeah, so we've got, oh, and I also set a rim pod right here. Um, it's like the closest I could get to the picture. So, so if there is something attached to that picture, if you could try to use your energy, you could try to, to grab that little uh, antenna right there. Okay. Um, ooh, is that me? Okay, yeah, I was close enough to set off the proximity sensor. Oh, it's mapping something. Oh my God, please tell me that's not on the... 
Okay, no. Don't freeze, don't freeze. <gasps> Y'all, that's the mirror. It was mapping something up here, which... So this is inverted, y'all. So in the episode, you'll see it actually flipped. I'll flip it around. Um, but yeah, these this is the windows on that side. This up here was this mirror right here. Oh, man. Is something up in that mirror? Is that mirror like a gateway or something? That's what they say, y'all. People who talk about mirrors being gateways. I wonder what would happen. Hold on. Hang on a second, y'all. I'm gonna do, I want, uh, I kinda wanna back the SLS camera up just a bit. Oh, and it closed. Excellent. It's powering back up. Switch the views. Okay, so it's, it's focusing in on the mirror, but I want to take a second. Yo, what do you think would happen if we took the GS2 and we pointed it up at the mirror? So, did you see the heat signature? So, did you see the heat signature? If you can hear me. Is there something going on with that mirror? Another little heat signature on the right edge. Yeah, okay, maybe we leave that right there. In fact, let me reset it. Oh, I didn't mean to unplug it completely. And the camera decided to stop recording. That's fun. Luckily, I can remedy that very quickly. Um, okay, let's plug this back in. Hang on a second, guys. Oh, God, everything's coming unplugged out of this thing. Hang on a second, y'all. Sorry, the battery came out, everything. Okay. So we'll leave it there now. And then that means I'm gonna have to reposition this a little bit to like maybe like right there. good okay so hopefully it's gonna get another baseline so did thanks a lot she has to oh it's all red y'all that is creepy so the middle of the screen would be where that red dot is and then up where that mirror is is the edge of the grid and it's bright red. Let me take it off night shot for a second and show you guys that. Like solid red, like not flashing red, not just, just solid heat. That is creepy. So what's going on with that mirror? I've got some of the other, uh, you know what? Let me throw the obelisk on. Cool. Like a weird, that was a weird. Okay, that's me, that's me. Still staying perfectly red like that too, creepy. Um, okay, let's grab, um, yeah, let's grab the obelisk. see it getting hits but I, I can't tell which one it is okay so some people think that there's something something um, evil 
up here. I'm never, I've never had anything weird with this mirror, but if this mirror has something to do with that, can you let me know? Carbon shove. Carbon shove? Inner. Inner. Watch, I'll set it right there. Is there something attached to that mirror? Miss. Ooh. Miss what? What was that? Ooh. Miss what? What was that? Ooh. Oh, okay, that's gonna scare me. That was me backing into it. So I'm gonna leave, maybe leave the obelisk right there for a second. But what was that noise? Did y'all hear that? Rimpot again. That's the one on the table back here. Are you moving around over here? Can you make that go off again? Reach out and try to touch that little, uh, that little box. And y'all, so, right here is the um, crawl space to the attic. And that's one thing that he, uh, Brian told me about is that when this picture got brought in, um, there was one morning where he woke up, came up, noticed that this door, which was locked, and shut and locked, he noticed was open, like swinging open. And he was like, well, that's not good. So he comes upstairs, comes in to make sure everything is okay. And he says he noticed, and he sent me the, the, um, he sent me the picture of it when it happened and that whole piece was like up and shifted over and he was like nobody should have been in here um, there was nothing like no explanation for that like no reasonable explanation for that so is there something up there It's, oh, that gave me chills, too. The ovalist said yank? Yeah. That's what he claimed, is that it yanked it. Could you do that again, please? That, that's... Again, y'all, you know I make fun of the ovalist. That's pretty relevant. Ooh, every time. Let's see what's going on now. Report. Oof. Report? What are you going to report? Y'all, look, it's still getting like... There's still like huge heat on the top, but one of them disappeared, but now there's like cold coming out around it. That's terrifying. Can you show yourself again on this camera right here? I wonder... Hang on, guys. Let me set... I want to try something. I'm going to set this camera down right here. So, and I'm going to pick up the SLS camera and I'm just going to walk. I'm going to walk towards it. Norman? Norman? Who's that? Okay. So I got the SLS camera in my hand. Walking up towards it. I hope that's me. Are you up in that mirror? Substances. Jeez, it's going crazy. Is there too much stuff up there? And you know what, actually? I might take you guys. 
and sets you down right here. Can you see down that hallway? Yeah. I'm gonna walk around with this. Ooh, I'm a little dizzy. Could you show yourself on this screen? I did hear something. So I heard a car drive by, but before that, I heard something kind of sounded like a female voice. Is there a female here? Stuff? Salaran. Minute. Y'all, I swear, if it starts mapping something coming on the ceiling, what did that say? If it starts mapping something on the ceiling, I'm going to lose it. What's up there? Look, froze. Did you move? Who moved that panel? Okay. Oh, it's closing every time I try open it. It's like closing out again. Did you move that panel? Are you responsible for that? Or is something responsible for that? It's going crazy, guys. It's like literally opens and closes, opens and closes. You could show yourself on here. If there's something up there. It's just like freezing. Walk back from this way. Seems like something's moving around over here too. Seems like something's moving around over here too. Heard a couple of noises. Especially right here by this little box. You trying to walk behind me? Ooh. This K2 meter is still maxed out to crap. I hit the damn cord. It's gonna close. Must be something wrong with this cord, y'all. Damn. Come on. <laughs> not, getting, not getting anything other than that one figure popped up for a second in that, in that mirror. Is there too much stuff in front of it? What if I took down all that stuff? Is there too much stuff in front of it? What if I took down all that stuff? Maybe I'll try that. Let's try that. Okay, point this up at the mirror. There we go. 
and then take you guys right here, point it right there, and maybe just maybe set down some of this stuff. Woo. Can I do that? Really, it's just this giant fish. Oh, this is heavier than I thought. Oh, there's something on it. Set that right there. Well. Well. Here. Is that better? Chills. Oof, chills. Yeah? What if I put this against that? Well, you know what? I can. I'm going to use this little tile. I'm going to set it right like that. Pulled? Bank. What did you pull? Okay. So now, we've got the olives literally resting up against the mirror. And you know what I might try to, guys? I have the still camera. Maybe I'll try to take some pictures of, uh, um, oh my God, look at now, it's like freezing. All that heat kind of disappeared. I'm gonna take some still pictures of the, um, of the thing, the mirror. Like I'll get really close to it and see if anything weird like pops up or shows up. I might scoop this back a little bit too. Yeah, that's a better view right there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures. Oops. I tried to look at it, but it disappeared. If there's anybody in there, if there's anything attached to this mirror, do you think you could show yourself? Do one more with the flash, guys. And then close it. Here. Something clicked behind me. Okay, last chance. Oh, that was me. I didn't see anything too crazy, but I'll review all that stuff. What about this hallway? What if I take a picture right here? We're down over on this side. Alright. Oh, 
shadow box when I'm next to me. You're at the table. Um, no, I might actually do uh, I might actually do like a spirit box session because um, I actually have this awesome new piece of uh, gear, new piece of equipment that uh, supposedly ooh, what was that? was that? oh that was probably just the lens flare um but yeah, so I've got this new little uh, deal right here that actually blocks a lot of the static uh, out of the uh, spirit box, which is fantastic. And it's super small, looks like a little backpack on the spirit box, which is fantastic. Um, because it was kind of a pain to carry around all that super heavy stuff. I just need to turn this power on. It's gonna scare me every time. Okay. So I'm gonna walk around with this this little box right here. You think you could come up and tell me your name? Got a little dizzy right there. It's believed that there's something attached to this little box, or sorry, this picture. Can you tell me anything about that? How many people are in here? How many spirits are attached to it? Any information? Now's your chance. Or you can try to move this or touch this little box right here. You hear that? Or what about right here? Did you open this door? And you can hear like a little bit of the static, um, but not nearly as much as when it's just running normally, which is awesome. Ooh. That's crazy because this is where that rim pod right there was going off a lot. Do you have something you want to say? 